and welcome back to Total War 3 Kingdoms. Well, we are growing, kind of. We do have some more territories, even though they're not connected yet. I just want to say they were yet here, so we're doing that at some point. Um, what we want to do in this episode, let's see, um, we have the Yellow Turban Rebellion. So I'm, I'm constantly looking for enemies at the moment, because we are quite peaceful with most of our opponents in some way you know either we have trade so it's not their interest to make war with us as well because they would lose money or we have a pact and they don't they don't want to break the pact because that would you know reduce the trustworthiness stuff like that so at the moment we are kind of neutral here in the middle and i want to get new territory though so my initial goal was sangyan the problem with sangyan is that he's a vessel he's now a vessel of um my um leo bay you know so he kind of um got in my way once again um very fast and uh, this way and now we have to take a new enemy and i think i'm going with this one here so this is the yellow turban rebellion it's when you look at the map it's this territory here that, that one here and that one here and this one here above up there in the north has an iron mine on it there it is an iron mine so i want to take that and for that reason i've got my army already here so next turn it'll be able to get into this territory there and hopefully we can take the iron mine there okay i've got two armies there actually one here and one here so first of all i'm just scouting in and, and looking how strong he really is and that's it and then we can see if we can take it we do have a trebuchet so they're very powerful in sieges um and that might be an option then that's the first thing the second thing that we want to do is our diplomacy once again so i found the quick deal you know, that is something I found very late now. The quick deal allows me to see who would like what right away. So I click on non-aggression pact. And now I can see already who actually wants a non-aggression pact with me and who would maybe like to have one. So if we take, for example, yes here, her, down there, far away from me. And we can say negotiate yes. peace. Then I can see, oh, this is really good. Like she actually really wants that. So I can get some more out of that. Request a regular payment, for example. And in this case here, that's quite high. It's 144. We know that's 144 coins for 10 turns. Um, where I actually didn't do anything. I didn't need to do anything because they're so far away. Um, we got here Liu He up here. Now that is closer. Liu He has many allies. So it's not wise to, to fight against him. So yeah, let's say... We could do that. He actually desperately wants one, as it seems. So, and once again, we can see if he's got any items here. So he's got a dignified raiment, not so good, and that's it. So we could get some more money out of that. Request the payment, and then we can just say, how much payment actually? How much do you want to pay? You have got lots of money, old man. You can you can take it. Very nice, 183. Uh, just out of that. So, do you see that? I mean, that is amazing that I haven't seen that yet. And we have Tao Ying here. Big one. Big player. Uh, was a former coalition member, I think. So let's see. Um, he see actually you. really wants one. He's plus 10 with that. Because I've got a good army and I've got this moderate threat level there still. So, that really helps. So, let's get some regular payment out of that. He's not that rich though. So, he will not pay that much, right? Oh, he's going to pay a lot. So that's almost 300 coins right there, just for a non-aggression uh, aggression pact for 10 turns. You know, it's really easy like that. Um, let's have a look at her. She's far away. She's an underdog. She's got some money. So probably she, she would like to do that and pay something for that as well. So look how high she's ready to go. Uh, that's, that's pretty good there as well. 187 points. Very nice. So that's that. Now, that was the non-aggression pact. Now we have only maybes, so then the maybes, they're not that good. Let's have a look at military access, become vessel. Actually, two would become a vessel of us. This one down there, and Dong Min up here. He's right around the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Not you again. He will become a vessel. They receive 20% of our regular tax income. So that wouldn't be so good. Actually, that can't be right. Offer to become a vessel. Yeah, that's it. 
Actually, I didn't want to become a vessel, you know, I wanted to get one. Offer subsur- no. Offer to become a vassal of this faction, granting them a portion of your income and committing yourself to their wars. No. Um, what we can see though is a military access. So lots of them actually would do that. So military access. Negotiate a mutual military access agreement allowing your forces to march across each other's lands. That is not really a big deal to me. You know, so especially if it's far away like her. She's far away. So we could negotiate something here. It's, it's 10 actually. And I really am terrified that I, I haven't found this option before because this is really really powerful this meets our approval right that's another thing here so military access who else far away please so it doesn't it hasn't yeah not this one there this one's far away far away why so it hasn't really any real effect on us you know so if it's far away I don't really bother. It's it's not like I have to go to war with them or something, you know. I just grant them some access to my territory. It's really that and nothing more for a few few rounds there. Kai Mao, we don't even see them on the map. Come, let us And he's free. not that. He's reluctant to do that, so it doesn't matter. Xu Ying Seng She's right there, she's the bandit queen. Let's have a look at that, how much she's willing Sit. to pay. Let us talk. Not much, so I'm not doing that. But now let's look at that. We have 5,200 just out of diplomacy. We got 2,500 per turn for each turn for the next 10 turns. That is really, really powerful. So with that, we could have become, uh, become rich quite early on. I, I have to remember this in the next uh, playthrough then. But that is a lot of fun then, all of a sudden, you know, because now I have a, a lot of money and I even have more food. So what we can do now is we can build some really cool things. And I'm not even that happy anymore about trading some territory here. I mean, everything south of the rivers, actually, I don't care about that. So I would trade those two if I could get those two there. That might be something, but I would be even happier if I don't even have to trade anything at all, naturally. Alright, we are still not that far away from the iron mine, and I think that's it for now. We do have, I think, an angry general here somewhere. Or someone that actually leveled up? No. No, it seems actually to be good here. Not that I need anything there. And there, Bay High actually has nothing to do right now. Let's see what we can do here. We could. Build a magistrate, 15% income from all sources, 10 prestige. Hmm. The public school gives a bit more public order. And we are down with the public order at the moment. So yeah, let's get a public academy there. That's also some more population growth there. So that we have that. Right, that's it. That was a lot of diplomacy. Let's see what happens in this round. So one of my armies goes up there, as I told him. Something is happening over there. A new owner, as it seems to me. And the Yellow Turban Rebellion. My enemy at the moment, or enemy to be. One Kyung faction destroyed, another one bites the dust. No, this is still her. This will be short. And, of course, she's going to be a tough nut because we want to get that territory there, there without actually hurting her or without military force because military force, uh, it's not my best choice here with Kong Rong. It's not that good when it comes to that. So, um, here right now, we can't do anything really. We only have those things here. Just out of curiosity, if I go for te trade territory, let's say the salt mine in Ping. Here, salt mine. Let's confirm that. That's minus 45. That is not impossible. That is not possible. Let's see the small city. 45. So we could give her probably one of our territories down there. Ying? No, we can't do that yet. That is a question I have. Why can I not trade that city here? I could trade the whole of Ying. No, I can't do that. 
I cannot trade anything here. Except for Taishan. Perhaps because it needs to be at the border. Well, I don't know. I can't trade those things there. But it's it's really impossible. So it's minus 45. How much would I have to pay in money? Make a payment. And let's say 15,000. Well, that's 14. You know, perhaps some items. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Uh, doesn't look like I will get this one there. But we could try something else. We could try to have... Whoops. Not that. We could try to get that um, farmland there. Trade territory. We want Henai, the farmland. Okay, that's minus 18. That is not so bad. That is a basis uh, we can do, we can play with. So then we say, um, make a payment. So again, I say 15,000. Ah, that would almost work. Perhaps if we give him something. We have an iron sickle there. Uh, that's a pretty good one though. We have two philosophers. They're really good too. But if I give him one, might that work? That might work. 15,000 and a philosopher. And I would get the farmland there. So let's just keep that in mind. We could all already get this one. Um, I'm not doing it yet right away because the farmland would be nice for food. But at the moment we have enough food. But it's interesting. We could get this territory there. Another territory without military force. That would be here then. In Henai. Then I would have both... Um, entities here in Henai again. So the city and the farmlands. Very nice. Okay, um, that's that. Let's have a look. We have now the R Yellow Rebellion yes, up yes. there. Talk. They are no vassal of anyone and they also have no allies at all. So that should, shouldn't be the most difficult enemy there. Over. And let's get in that enemy territory there. And there he is. There is his force. So he's got some forces there. Okay, so that's not going to be so easy. But it doesn't look like it's the strongest forces there. I still have my other force coming there from behind. Some reinforcement. Very nice. So I've got my two uh, troops there. And I hope no one's faster than me. Like he, Leo Bay, he always takes my, takes my territories from me. Or from me. Or takes them in front of me. The ones that I wanted to, to get. So we got here, um, this one here, the Iron Mind, the other one would be the small city here, but that is a bit far away in those mountains here. But yeah, this is, this could be working. Warriors, Your army's trespassing. Yeah, of course, um, what we also need to do is we need to have a formal declaration of war. A waste of time. Victory and that's war. We didn't have any um, well treaties, so that's perfectly fine. So we are at war now, and shield, that should sword. be working. Hopefully he tries to get out of there before we arrive, because then I would have two armies Conserve against him. Right, there's nothing else here. Some assignments, okay. And one of my spies has been promoted to a general over there, Lian C. Okay, so there is, there is, that's her, right? Is that my general? Let's have a look. We do have him again. So they have a, a quite a nice um, spy network there now. So we could get, um, deny military supplies, infiltrate the army, leak marching orders, falsify marching orders. What's there? Empower trades, manipulate the faction's trade efforts, thereby increasing your own trade power. Let's try that. The effect of the uh, of the weather on crop yields, territory patterns of banditry, and current successes of merchant routes all influence trade. One of our spies has mastered the art of studying and predicting these effects, enabling them to exploit faction markets and increasing our own trade power. So it seems that has worked. So that's our spy here now. Undercover network is quite high. 95 out of 100. And what is that? Cover. Okay, the cover is not that high at the moment. Right. 
right because the more i do the more uh cover costs of cover points i actually lose okay so let's oh we have a second spy wait a second we still have him there as well um let's see he's more for the military things where's the military let's build an undercover network with him as well very nice that um, enables more options. Okay, our two spies are doing their stuff here against her. Leon C, boy, she is really powerful up there in the north. Okay, that's that. So, Beihai, there is something still upgrading. In Taishan. go to Taishan we could do something okay for those coastal trading town we would need a new reform which one that one up there yeah that enables a lot of trading buildings and gives us another uh, trade agreement very nice that's a lot of income there so that is the a very important one silk rogue expeditions and we get also more income from silk though I haven't seen silk yet Okay, but we could upgrade um, Taishan to a large city. That would give us a more population there. Yep, let's do that. Let's upgrade that. Let's see what else we can do here. Quick deal again. Peace. Yeah, we are only at war with one faction there. And there's the military access again with him. Let's have a look at that. Let's negotiate. Welcome, yeah, that looks good. Let's request some payment there. 144 for the military access. Right away. Let's have a look. What else? Leo He up there. Again? Didn't we have a, an agreement there already? Request a regular X uh, yeah, payment. Some more I'll coins there. Offer. I'm curious what we can use this for as well. Let's see. Huang Su. Kai Mao. And Seng Yang. She's over there. What can we discuss? Hmm. Yeah, let's just request payment there. From the bandit queen. That's okay. So we um, also increase our reputation again at one point. That's that. Military access. Him again. And that one up there. What shall we That's only today? two. So th I don't care about that. But he wanted to do something there. A middle ground can be reached. Okay, that's it. But there were some interesting deals again. We are pretty high there on the income side right there. We could afford another big army. So we could have three armies then. But um, each army um, reduces my uh, trade influence. You know, because I'm a trader. So I want to get this monopoly up there. To reach the next level. Um, so I need to be careful of what armies or how many armies I actually want to use. And Ying Xuan would like an upgrade too. Let's have a look there. Order is high, is is rising again. That's good to see. It was pretty low. We have one building here, the public school. We could also increase it to a um, city. Let's do that. Costs us a bit though. Right. Let's end this turn. Nothing else that we can do there. And it's loading and loading, going through all of them. But it's pretty fast, I think. So it's not that um, that slow. Okay, it's winter now. One of our generals died. And we have to replace him. Which general died? This one. No. What? Kong Rong died. I died. 
Okay, so there will be the question of succession then, I think. Oh my. I mean, a lot of other characters died already, you know, main characters. But now that it's me... And I was a strategist. So we need to replace us with a strategist, this one here. Remain dormant. Oh my, that hurts. Yeah, and she's now the regent while the new heir is still growing, coming of age. And death by natural cause, age 53. Well, that is not so high. Kong Rong, regardless of whether they achieved great things in their time or frittered away the years on trivialities, they were fortunate to have been granted a full lifetime to do with as they wished. Order will spread throughout. And naturally all my generals are kind of pissed now. So we need to promote some of them, get some of their loyalty with that. That was a bit expensive now. So it's us now we're doing that. Going for Marquis, Duchess and that. And where's my heir? If I look at the court now. Oh, okay, so we are Konke. We are still um, only three years old. That's understandable then. So we are ruling as her at the moment. Yeah, that's of course not so cool. But well, what can you do? Natural course, cause. He was a great man. He did a lot. That's an easy one here, so we can delegate it and take that. Celebration is due. Decisive victory against the Yellow Turban Rebellion and we occupy this one there. Neighbors. A terrible collapse during construction efforts in a new town. A section of bamboo scaffolding collapses in a horrific accident that crushes many of your men, leaving some dead and many injured. Apart from the lost manpower, the remaining workers are also demoralized, drastically slowing the colonization process. And we pay for the doctors. We do have the money and that gives a lot of um, satisfaction. Moving out. Summon the merchants. Okay, so that's ours now, the iron mine here. That gives us um, 200 income for industry and prestige of course. Very nice. And that is a, a nice um, area here that we can trade. You know, so let's just keep it for now in this turn. But we could trade it then for something over here. Something closer to us. Welcome, friend. Okay, Behai needs an upgrade again. We could go for the large city there. Increase the population, but also the food consumption, which we have plenty of anyway. Yeah, let's uh, increase it to a large city. Though that pushes it quite down there. And we also have another administrator that we can um, assign to. To one of those. So Taishan needs an administrator. Someone with uh, commerce. Ideally. Um, mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, 40% income from commerce, silk and spice, 1k population and public order. Perfect, you're the perfect man for that. Let's do that. New administrator appointed. And we also have received some more items here. Some good items, actually. Some good weapons. Double sword. And a concubine. Gives us satisfaction. That's good to know. Good to use against some of us, our enemies then okay this has been quite a successful episode again um we died but our successor or our wife has taken over the regent now while our son is coming of age Konke, he's already what age is he actually can we click on him we can't do that he doesn't seem to be existing at all there he is age nine okay so that's still some time there before we can do that, Konke, the heir. That's good. That's also good because a new marriage comes up them again at some point. And marriage is always very nice and fancy for some new territories and stuff like that. Stay tuned.